Hi guys. In this video, we will be learning how to create the robots.txt file. For that, you need to get into the uh, cPanel and click on to the file manager. Once you click on to the file manager, you will be able to see all those uh, root folders that you have set up, all your website folders, you will be able to see that. Get into the root folder of a particular website where you want to install the robot or you want to create the robots.txt file. So for example, I want to create the robots.txt file for this particular domain. I will get into the root folder of that and double click on that particular folder and it will get me into that folder. Now here is where I will be creating the robots.txt file. For me to do that, I will uh, I'll, I'll go and uh, click on this particular uh, button call or a link called new file. I'll click on that and it will ask me the name of the file that I want to create. So I'll, I'll tell that as robots.txt, robots.txt. I'll create, click on that button, create new file and you can see that file is generated. Now it is a text file and that is why you are seeing that icon. It has to be like that. Now there is nothing inside here. So what we'll be doing is I'll be clicking on the edit button here and it will open up that file in a new tab. And that is where we will be adding the code for our robots.txt. So the first code that you are supposed to write is user dash agent column space an asterisk sign or a star sign. By meaning that user agent is referred to as all those detectives, all those spiders and crawlers on the website. I mean on the on the web. All those Google bot, the spiders, the Yahoo bots, any robots that crawls the web, they are in this case called user agent. So by by showing them that by indicating by putting a the asterisk sign, we are uh, telling that this applies to all the search engine robots. Then uh, we we'll put the carriage return enter and then on the next line we we'll say disallow column space trailing slash and now whichever folder you want to hide from the search engines that is what you are going to write here. For example I don't want the search engines to enter into my administration dashboard of the WordPress. In that case, I will tell them that you are not allowed to enter the WordPress dash, uh, dashboard. And that is the exact code that you will be writing in the robots.txt. Then you may even want to disallow other areas which where you have already put your downloads and other, other secret files or folders. In that case you may don't want to allow the search engines to go through those folders. Also then you can put that particular name of the folder here. Please note the search engines are not able to, I mean, uh, let me put it this way. They are only able to block themselves from the folders not the files so here you cannot just directly put on the file names you can only put up the folder names if you want you can just say wp-content or wp-include or something like that or if you have put up a download folder and you have named it as downloads then you say disallow downloads something like that in that case they are not being or they will not be allowed to see anything that is in the downloads folder but ensure the name of the folder that you write here exists on your root folder and that is what you have been using that otherwise it may treat as an error if you want to learn more about the, the robots.txt then you may want to go to google.com trailing slash write robots.txt and press enter and you will see how Google is using or have created their own robots.txt file and you'll be able to learn from that 
so many other stuff and how you can utilize it to your advantage for your websites their their hours of txt is so long and obviously because they have a lot of uh, websites and a lot of stuff so this is how the basics of the robots.txt are and uh, and that is all for creation of the robots.txt file now don't forget to click on the save changes on the right hand side and close and once you want to see again edit it you will be able to see that the same code exists there so that is all for creation of the robots.txt file and thank you for watching uh, this video and please do not forget to subscribe for more such informative videos from us. Thank you. Thank you for watching our video.